it's pretty good. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, and today's my review of Napoleon. So the new movie Napoleon stars Joaquin Phoenix and Vanessa Kirby. Both of you do a fantastic job, and generally the movie is actually really, really good. But I had higher hopes than what it ended up being for me, but that's not to say that it's bad. I'll explain. Okay, so the film is directed by Ridley Scott. I'm not even sure how much I have to say, but some of my all-time favorite films, and probably yours, come from Ridley Scott. Alien, The Martian, Gladiator, Blade Runner. Some of the most spectacular films ever made. So that being said, I was hopeful that he was gonna knock another one out of the park. But if you look at how many projects he's done, of course, not every single one is the highest rated 100% glory to him. There are ups and downs and so on and so forth. This is not a down. It's not something that's terrible like, oh my gosh, you shouldn't see this film. It's actually really, really good. And from a technical standpoint, it is spectacular. The cinematography, the sound design, the scale and scope of some of the battle scenes alone are just spectacular to watch. The battles sometimes are brutal, the frenetic, there's chaos going on all over the place. The, the visceral nature of them is so well captured and put on screen, it's one of the finest things you'll ever see in any movie. So this is not a spoiler, but just a heads up. The movie is not just him, Bonaparte, as the general, as the leader of all of these battles, these epic things that happened. A lot of the story, a lot of the development of the characters is actually revolving around him and his very unique relationship with his wife, Josephine. By the way, everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. It helps our channel a lot. And because of that, if you're expecting nothing but nonstop action, it's not that. And that doesn't bother me at all. But this movie does have some controversy. There are some people who are historians who are criticizing it for being inaccurate for this and for that. And that's, you know, neither here nor there. If you're going in just for pure entertainment or to uh, learn a thing or two, um, you're going to enjoy the film. Just keep that in mind. Now, one thing that has been a topic of discussion, and I have to agree 100%, is the fact that Joaquin Phoenix does basically zero effort as far as trying to pull off any type of accent, any type of French accent whatsoever. He talks like himself. So it's not anything that you're like, it doesn't bring you into that world where he has a little accent and talks like this, who knows? But anyway, it's just not there. At the same time, there's a lot of actors in here too who are either English speaking um, from the UK, England, and so they don't have a French accent either. But being the, the main star, being the main character in the film, I understand why the criticism is there. They had that choice. They could either try to work with him to get a French accent or not do it at all as what they chose to do or something, get, maybe get a different actor who had that and could pull that off. But obviously he's worked with him before he wanted to use him in this film and that's the choice that he made. So it can be a little off-putting. You're like, Where's, there's no accent whatsoever, but that's whether you, did, whether you think that's important to you or not, I can't tell. Generally, as I said, the film from a technical standpoint is really spectacular. It's, it's just amazing. Set designs, costume designs, everything the way that it was shot was, was really something to behold. It's Ridley Scott. You know he's not going to put something up there that doesn't deserve to be there. And as a side note, that's one of the things about Ridley Scott that is pretty, pretty spectacular. He's able to do a lot of different looks for different types of movies. So like, for example, like The Martian didn't look anything like Alien and didn't look like Blade Runner. It has its own style. It has its own uniqueness to it. And that is one of the things that makes him such a spectacular director is the fact that he can pull that off. They don't have to be the same thing. They can be different. And he does a marvelous job on that. Now, as far as the negatives of the, of the movie are concerned, it's hard to say. Again, I'm not a historian. I'm not somebody who could necessarily pick out what's right or what's wrong. But I will say that the inconsistency of the story, and I don't know if that's historical or not, the way that Napoleon behaved and acted in the beginning of the film and what was going on in the very, very start, he's 
a, a tactician. He is remarkable. He is uh, exactly what you need him to be. Razor sharp. He's amazing at what he does, and you see that. And then in other scenes, you see him almost frustrated, childlike, and I don't know if that was his personality or whether he had that kind of ups and downs, pluses and minuses to him as a real person who could possibly know that exactly. But the portrayal is the part that kind of is a little bit um, uneven, I guess is the best word. So it's not like it's terrible. I actually thoroughly enjoyed the film, but I do recognize that that's probably a shortcoming for a lot of people who will see the film. So Vanessa Kirby, I mentioned it in the beginning, she is spectacular in the film and her role. They have a very dysfunctional relationship. You see that a little bit in the trailers, um, but she portrays her character, Josephine, spectacularly. Um, some of it's almost a little uncomfortable to watch, but um, overall, it's a great performance and that's another positive. So how am I gonna score this film? I'm gonna give it an 80. It's well-deserved. It's, it's technically spectacular. Ridley Scott does some amazing work here again, and it's not something that you can ignore. The reason it's down even to that level there is because of the way that the story is written and the way that the actors are, are portrayed, it's a little uneven. It feels a little off. That's the only thing I can kind of just, it's not really like a, oh, that's wrong. It's just a little off that doesn't quite warrant a spectacular rating where it's going to be like, oh, this is 100%. It's not, but it's still a great film. And on that note, should you go see it? Yes, it's Ridley Scott. The battles, everything that you see on an epic big screen with great sound is amazing. It's really, really awesome. I wouldn't wait to watch it on a small screen. If you've got a home theater like I do, yes, go ahead and do that. But see it in the, th in the theater. It's really, really worth the watch there. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for me today. Thanks again so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.